all your fault, Lucy. Yes. If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened, would it? Hmm? Hello. This is Susan here, Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre. And yes, yet again, another year has passed. 14 years, would you believe? 14 years since we started the rescue centre. 14 years ago, we welcomed Lucero into our home and our home became Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre, which is now a home to 121 horses, ponies and donkeys. Well, I know many of you out there that follow us have shared with us the ups, downs, the dramas, the joys and the sadness that we've gone through over the years. This year, without a doubt, I think has probably been physically and mentally one of our hardest years so far. Uh, in spring, we had 11 weeks of non-stop rain and mud, followed by one of the hottest summers on record in Spain. Coupled with the fact that we had very, very few volunteers, uh, because people were enjoying the fact that they were able to travel again and many people went off on holidays to visit visit relatives etc etc so it left me and Rod here with only one or two volunteers left to do all the work caring for all of our 120 residents physically it was very very hard and mentally it was very hard to keep going every day now the weather is settled and it's a workable condition, Rod has now started on huge major improvements. Now this is the exciting bit of what happened this year. We have been asked by the government to become a farm. Because we only work with the police, um, we are taking in unwanted animals that are seized by the police. The complication is we are not allowed to re them. When we take a horse, pony or donkey in from the police, the actual government vets have to come here and chip and passport them and they actually keep all the paperwork. This is because we are not in a particular category that they can place us in. Four years ago, we actually formed an association in Switzerland to enable us to re some of our younger horses, but we are not able to at the moment. We are not allowed to move them. If we become a farm, we will be able to then get European grants to help fund what we do, but also in the future, possibly, we might be able once again to re -hum some of our younger horses that would be suitable to be rehomed. So this is quite an exciting new development. However, we do have a lot of work to do. Um, Rod actually has to build 68 more installations and various other projects to enable us to get the farm license which we are now starting to do because the weather finally is on our side to enable us to do this. Also, we have had fantastic help from Rahalis Council, who have always been in our corner. This year, they have given us a grant of 8,000 euros towards the building materials for us to start the project. We are also supported by the Equestrio Foundation, they are a Swiss foundation. This year they are giving us 10,000 euros for forage, um, which again obviously will enable us to stockpile forage so we do not have the worry in the winter of where to continually find the forage to keep all our animals going. Also, uh, Chippy who's another one of our great followers, has created an Easy Horse Care uh, Facebook for people to join to enable people to come together to share ideas on how to raise money for the rescue centre. Also, the lovely people in the all-box corner shop 
continue to support us and raise money that they send to us regularly every month. Now, these people have raised absolutely thousands for us over the years and the generosity of the customers in their English corner shop never fails to amaze us. Also, I must say a huge thank you to our amazing volunteers in our three charity shops. I believe young Zach is helping make this video. These ladies and gentlemen stood in our shops and kept them open in extreme heat of the summer. In the extreme heat of the summer, they kept those three shops open. And amazingly, our supporters continued to go in and buy things and donate. In all of this, I think really what I'm trying to say is, despite being an incredibly hard time for me and Rod, it's you amazing people out there that have given us the strength to keep going. When things are tough, when things are hard, you people are always there for us with your supportive words, your kind words, your donations. You lift us up. You've made everything possible, what we've achieved now. And I truly believe together we will go on and we will build something special here that will be here long after me and Rod have gone. Thank you all so very, very much.